In this lesson, we'll talk about the traditional and simplified Chinese. While Chinese character is an open set, there are various officially recognized national standards. Specifically, traditional characters are used in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau, while the simplified form is used in China, Singapore, and Malaysia. Chinese character simplification is often associated with the People's Republic of China. While in fact as early as in 1930s and 40s, before the Republic was formed, there were many scholars that proposed character simplification in hope of boosting literacy in China. And after years of discussion, it is the People's Republic of China which makes the simplification official. The Republic issued its first round of official character simplification in two documents, the first in 1956 and the second in 1964. There was also a second round in 1977, but that was poorly received and the authorities later revoked it. Whether to use traditional characters or simplified characters is usually a matter of choice depending on the targeted readers. And on the other hand, conversion between traditional and simplified characters can be automatic in the computer world. In fact, there are plugins in major web browsers to convert the display of web pages between traditional and simplified Chinese with just a click. When talking about traditional simplified characters in the computer, we have to know the encoding schemes. Big 5 is an encoding for traditional characters. The scheme gets its name from the consortium of five companies in Taiwan that developed it. The structure of Big 5 is a double byte character set with defined range for the first byte and the second byte. Strictly speaking, the Big 5 encoding contains only double byte characters, but in practice, it is always used together with another single byte character set such as AS CII, but the encoding for that single byte character set is not specified in the Big 5 encoding. Anyway, the single byte character will take up the range from hexadecimal value 00 to 7F. You will find a mix of double byte characters and single byte characters in a Big 5 encoded text document. For simplified Chinese characters, GB is the most commonly used encoding. GB abbreviates, which means the national standard. The GB encoding is mainly used in mainland China and Singapore. There are different versions of GB standards, and the latest version is GB18030. It is a variable length encoding with 1, 2, or 4 bits. It can be considered a Unicode transformation format that maintains compatibility with a legacy character set, with part of the mapping data from a lookup table and the remaining by algorithmic calculation. As it is a Unicode transformation format, there are indeed code points for both simplified and traditional characters. While conversion between traditional and simplified Chinese is usually automatic, some cases the conversion is not a simple mapping. This is because sometimes there are multiple traditional characters that are mapped to the same simplified form. In such cases, while the traditional to simplified conversion is straightforward, the opposite conversion may result in incorrect choice of the traditional form, and therefore the conversion programs will need to consider the context or common phrases to resolve the conflicts. Besides Big 5 and GB encodings, Unicode has been widely accepted in the region as it can be used to encode both traditional and simplified Chinese, and it is often considered politically neutral. Unicode was an effort to create a single character set that included every reasonable writing system on the planet. It is often misunderstood that Unicode is a 16-bit code that can represent around 65,000 characters. In fact, all letters in the Unicode are mapped to something called a code point, which is a magic number assigned by the Unicode consortium, and it can be considered independent of the digital representation. For example, hello in Unicode can be thought of five hexadecimal numbers as shown in the slide. How the code points are represented digitally is specified in the encodings under the Unicode standard, and there are multiple of them. 
UTF-8 and UTF-16 are the most commonly used encodings nowadays. An initial goal for Unicode is to contain the alphabets for every single human language. And Unicode started out using 16-bit characters instead of 8-bit characters. However, it turns out that even 16 bits isn't enough to meet the goal, and therefore, there are new specifications which use a wider range of codes that can accommodate to over a million code points. The rules for translating a sequence of Unicode points into a sequence of bytes are called an encoding. The naive encoding you might think of is an array of 32-bit integers. This representation is straightforward, but it wastes a lot of space. In fact, for most documents, the majority of code points are less than 127. So a lot of space is occupied by zeros, which in fact expand the space requirements by four times. Such naive encoding is just for illustration. Instead, other encodings such as UTF-8 are developed for practical uses, which is much more efficient. In UTF-8, if the code point is less than 128, it represents a single byte. If the code point is between 128 and 2047, it's turned into two byte values. And for code points with larger values, it is turned into longer byte sequences. UTF-8 has several favorable characteristics. It can handle any Unicode point, yet it is fairly compact. It's backward compatible to ASCII text. Moreover, if some bytes are corrupted or lost, it is possible to determine the start of the next code point and resynchronize the text. Worth noting that, while UTF-8 has been accepted widely and say XML is by default encoded using UTF-8, there are still other Unicode encodings in use, such as UTF-16, which are used in some file systems and system APIs. So, we have finished the second session of traditional and simplified character. In the next session, we will talk about working with Chinese characters in Python. Thank you.